Well, a quickly eroding part of South Kingstown's Matuna Beach area could soon be saved. Eyewitness News told you last month when the State Coastal Resources Management Council voted to deny the town's request to build a retaining wall along Matuna Beach Road in order to save the road, homes and businesses. But in a strange turn of events, that decision has now been reversed. Meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us with the details from the South County Mobile Newsroom in South Kingstown. After initially voting it down, the Coastal Resources Management Council now approves the building of a retaining wall along Matunic Beach Road. If the current trend of beach erosion continues, this 200 feet stretch of Matunic Beach Road is at risk of going under. This is a short term uh, measure to be able to deal with the public safety. A new vote from the Coastal Resources Management Council now gives the go-ahead for the building of a protective wall. Council Director Grover Fugate told Eyewitness News by phone that the council voted down the wall construction last month because they considered it a stopgap measure, which could have negative long-term impacts, such as water deflection and additional erosion further down the beach. But South Kingstown Town Manager Stephen Alfred helped them change their mind. He points out that the current erosion is only feet away from a tunic road. With it being that close, Temporary measures are going to be necessary. Loss of this road could have disastrous effects since it's the only access point for many beachside homes. The Coastal Resources Council voted yes on the wall with the condition that a long-term plan be put in place for the entire coast. They plan to team up with URI researchers to study beach erosion. That would update all of the information and provide the Coastal Council with a great deal of options. The ocean Miss Bar sits right next to the wall. The owner wasn't available for comment, but Alfred says he does have concerns about his property. It's been a while since we've seen any major storms at this beach, but of course hurricane season is less than a month away. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.